What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 7. In this video, we are going to be going over how to kill Ball the easiest and the quickest way possible. Now, I know he can be very, very scary as soon as you unlock him. However, believe it or not, he's actually a lot easier than you might think and you can kill him as soon as you unlock him. Very, very easily at that, I might add. Now, a few things to note. Upon killing a ball for the first time, the character that deals the killing blow will unlock a unique evil tea slot. And once you kill ball, you can then go ahead and do sightseeing on his world. So you can press square on the Super Overlord Ball's manifestation. And then once you go into there, there will be a legendary treasure chest that will contain a ball sword. The best weapon before land of carnage now we've gone over the rewards let's talk about how to actually kill him and first of all you are go not going to need any super high stats or any specific equipment or anything like that all you are going to need okay is vernier frosters which is really easy to get from the item uh, sorry the gotcha from the hospital rewards and that's it all you need is movement for this stage basically any other equipment is completely pointless and to show that off i'm even going to go ahead and just remove all of my equipment right now obviously my stats are kind of high right now but i'll talk about that in just a minute first of all let's go ahead and load our evil teas on our main unit so the reason we are using these evil teas okay and we're going to go over them in just a second first let's talk about the characters that we are going to use any character can do this okay any character at all can do this however suison is going to be mandatory for this method we are going to need suison just for his main unique evil tease for seeing mag and for seeing mag 2.0 this will always guarantee you hits and critical hits when he is next to the unit doing the attack so he is going to be how we get around accuracy and also guarantee us critical hits then let's talk about support units first of all okay if you have only just unlocked ball and you're still sort of early on in the post game then definitely make a final teal celestial maiden and also a myco unit the celestial maiden's unique skill okay will allow you to do an extra attack of valkyrie order whenever you use this on a unit you will hit two times instead of just once and then the myco okay likewise with encouragement it will allow you to act again so you can attack essentially twice so combining this with the celestial maiden means a single character can actually get four hits out which is quite a lot now that we've gone over that let's talk about support evil tees so first of all we are going to use lovely song for a unique evil tee this increases the stats of all allies on the map by five percent the next important one is cursed dance which increases damage taken by enemies on map by five percent now when it comes to unique evil tee slots okay you can get the first extra one by passing a bill in the dark assembly the second extra one from killing ball and the final unique evil tea slot is from completing carnage stage 15 the character that kills ball will unlock a unique evil tea, and also the character that kills the jumbo boss in stage carnage 15 will also unlock a unique evil tea. however the only really important one here is lovely song curse dance is a nice bonus but not required corpse is not really required either then we're going to use lucky song however that is not required that just increases critical rate of all allies on the map by five percent this set of evil tees right now is actually just my bog standard all around set so you can actually ignore pretty much all of these evil tees some of the important ones are still standing which when hp is reduced to zero it restores it to one and you prevent death then we're going to use kill with fire which decreases fire resistance for other units on the map by 15 percent speed protection increased resistance of all allies to all elements except star by 10 percent noble cause which boosts abilities of allies on the map by 10 percent these are the three important ones right here 
So all of your support characters will have those evil T's. When it comes to your killing unit, okay, you are going to use Assault Attack for your first one, Clear Mind for your second one, and M Convergence for your third unique in this order of importance. Okay, this is the order that they are best in. Then we're going to increase our stats a little bit. We have Counter Contemptor, which increases stats by 20%. We will not counter attack, but that's fine. We're going to one shot the boss. Unstable Power increases stats by 50%, but they decrease by 20% every turn. Again, we're going to one shot the boss, so that is fine. Full Power Swing increases critical damage by 75%, but we lose 30% accuracy. We have 100% accuracy from Suisun. So that does not matter. That's just a 75% critical damage increase. Vital Strike for 50% more critical damage. Dragon's Horde for more stats. Obviously, we are not gaining the benefit of that right now because I have removed my equipment to show you this method. We have Over the Limit, which increases attack by 50%. Sturdy Bow, accuracy rate is minus 50, but increases damage dealt by 60. Full Speed Ahead, attack power extra 50. Accuracy, minus 30. Then we have Fire Blessing for our last slot, just because we have one slot left over, and it increases fire damage by 10%. Also, you are going to need Terra Fire. You can either use Terra Fire, Terra Wind, or Terra Ice, okay? Just whichever one you use, make sure you change the evil T, kill with fire on your supports, to kill with whatever element you are using. Now, once you have all of that set up, okay, we are going to go ahead and go into Bull's stage. Also, you can do this with as minimum as 20 million stats, okay? You can get 20 million stats very easily from the juice bar, which gives you 10 million. And, oops, I had a thingy turned on there. Let's just retry that. But yeah, you can get 10 million stats very easily from the juice bar from the hospital gotcha and you can also get 10 million stats from reincarnating your main units with all class proficiency mastered as long as you have all class proficiency mastered and level them in the overlord guard squad you will gain 10 million there as well taking you up to 20 million now with the surviving evil T's, we're actually okay to go into that stage. However, if you don't want to use those evil T's or you need extra damage, go to the Neverworld Hospital and use Wicked Enhancement. You want to use HP up, Resistance up, and Defense up. This will give you the effects HP, Resistance, and Defense up. Then it will lower your damage taken by 10%. It will let you survive once with 1 HP, and it will also negate damage taken once as well. So with that, okay, you can easily survive the initial hit when leaving the base panel against Ball. Now, once the fight actually starts, okay, as you can see, there is only Ball. He has max stats and 1.7 billion health. That might seem like a lot, but it's really, really not, okay? So we're just going to bring our unit out right now. And then with our main killer okay we're going to well uh, first of all i'm going to actually put some vernier thrusters on just so i can actually get up closer to ball so i've got no weapon only vernier thrusters on and then we're just going to go as far as we can okay that is so our assault attack fully gets to the strongest it possibly can then we're going to move suisun right next to the character that is going to be killing a ball and then we're going to use terrifier now as you can see i can already one shot ball right there however if you do need a little bit extra firepower use your celestial maiden to uh, use the valkyrie order on your killing unit this way you will attack twice with that character and if two hits is still not enough once you've attacked the first time move your micro up and then use encouragement to attack again however obviously i can already kill ball and again he's maxed that i am very clearly not so we're just going to go ahead and execute right there and boom ball is dead just like that so there you go everybody that is how you absolutely murder normal ball of course if you want to see carnage mode ball then feel free to check the description for my disguise 7 playlist i'll have a guide for each of those seven stages as they are all different 
But though, everybody, I do hope you have enjoyed and this video has helped. If it has, please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below as it greatly helps the channel out. And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more content. As always, though, everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.